So your pinpoint weather 12 forecast. We told you each day this week we'd mm -hmm. be inching up the temperatures and here we are in the 60s. It just happens to be a little bit gray and mm. dreary out there, Tony. It's not fair. <laughs> we get to 63 and, and no sunshine. Mm. Uh, yeah, the, the gusty southerly winds have boosted the temperatures up. As far as precipitation, there's really not much out there other than some mist and sprinkles. And the weather alert that we're in is really for a, a short four hour window between about 10 o'clock this evening till two in the morning. That's the better chance during that time period of getting some downpours, some thunder and some of the strong wind gusts. All right, a lot to cover. Let's first start with the with Doppler radar. You don't see a lot of green, so it's just mist and sprinkles and drizzle as we widen out the view. The precipitation that we're expecting later in the evening, some of the heavier rain and thunder along this strong cold front. This is advancing to the north and east. The arrival time is starting around 10 o'clock in the evening. Strong cold front. This yellow represents a severe thunderstorm watch. The red are severe thunderstorm warnings. We're not anticipating our thunder to be severe, but a few random rumbles of thunder and some flashes of lightning are possible later this evening. Pretty much tells us the story here. That's the Newport Pell Bridge. A lot of humidity, low clouds, fog, a bit of mist and some sprinkles, no downpours yet. So the threat tracker is elevated after 9 o'clock this evening. We've been highlighting this now uh, for the last couple of days. Southerly gusts of 35 to 45, some heavier downpours, a few scattered thunderstorms. Getting back on track for Friday, even though Friday does feature a few isolated showers, it's really nothing widespread or heavy. So here's another look at the satellite and radar composite and this strong cold front off to our west. This is approaching later this evening and then moving offshore during the overnight out ahead of the front. Springtime temperatures in the 60s and even tomorrow will briefly hit 60 before cooler air arrives for uh, the weekend. When we take this into the future, watch the time bar and we draw our attention to those areas of yellow, orange and red. Those are the downpours and the thunderstorms on either side of, say, 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, some strong gusty wind as well. The thrust of that pushes offshore uh, before daybreak. So both tomorrow morning, notice the little speckles of green, and even tomorrow afternoon, a few speckles here and there. These are just brief passing showers. There'll be many hours tomorrow where it's dry, but every now and then you have to isolate just a passing shower. Nothing like the widespread rain that will be getting overnight. And actually, your Friday night, if you're heading out, is dry. These numbers represent wind gusts, and the purple represents some of the stronger wind gusts. So here we are at 8 o'clock in the evening. We've been gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour so far. You can see some of the stronger wind gusts with the approach of a cold front uh, at around 11 o'clock, uh, 40, 45 miles per hour out of the south and southwest. And the wind speeds really start to shut down and drop by overnight late tonight into early tomorrow morning. So the hour by hour breakdown for this evening, it's right generally in this window right in here, heavier downpours and some thunderstorms. And then towards daybreak, it's just isolated light rain showers. So my advice for tomorrow, keep the umbrella on standby, but most of the time you don't need it. So early in the morning, partly sunny, breezy, temperatures mild in the mid 50s, running about a 30% chance of just what I like to call a nuisance, kind of a passing rain shower. Not a big deal and pretty much the same theme during the afternoon, a mix of clouds and partial sunshine, breezy upper 50s to near 60 and just that random passing shower. All right, seven day forecast. What about the weekend? Good news is Saturday, lots of sunshine, little blustery on the cool side or cooler at 54. Uh, Sunday, not a stormy day, but we do have to dodge some scattered showers on Sunday and high temperatures in the mid 50s. Brian and Mike.